the royal family gathered for a church service as they enjoyed their first summer break at the estate since the Queen spent her final days there before her death a year ago. King Charles and Queen Camilla welcomed William and Kate, sitting in the back as her husband drove, Prince Edward and Sophie, and outcast Andrew. Prince Andrew was stripped of the majority of his titles and stepped back from royal duties due to the scandal over his friendship with the late American financier Jeffrey Epstein, who was convicted of sex crimes. William's big mistake as he arrives at Balmoral with radioactive Andrew it led to a cooling of relations with Charles, but he was seen with the family as they gathered yesterday at the Queen's beloved Scottish retreat where she would spend her annual summer break. Balmoral Castle, near the village of Crathy, in Aberdeenshire, was where the Queen died on September 8. All the senior working royals went to a local church yesterday for a traditional morning service. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh accompanied the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. Also pictured going to Crathy Kirk Church was Lady Susan Hussey, the late Queen's lady-in-waiting. King Charles and Queen Camilla are known to prefer to stay at Burkle, their private home on the estate. It is where Charles proposed to Camilla over the new year in 2004 and where they honeymooned in 2005. Don't miss! Senior royals meet for first summer break at Balmoral since death of late Queen, Royal, the four royal residences King Charles is eyeing up for staff cuts, Royal, Princess Kate dons £849 tartan coat and feathered fedora for Balmoral gathering, style. But Charles has decided to honor his late mother and stay at the Scottish residence for three weeks to be there on the anniversary of his mother's death. Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah, the Duchess of York, are staying at seven-bed Craig Owen Lodge on the estate. Sarah is recovering from surgery for breast cancer. The couple may be joined by their daughters Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie and their families, 